So how do you tell if your PowerPoint template is actually filled out correctly? This little PowerPoint speed training tip to help get you and your team, you guys deserve this, to happy hour. And here's what I'm talking about. So here in PowerPoint, let's say that this is the correct company template format. So you have your title text, size 28. You have your subtitle text with italicized size 24. You've got those little square bolts that your boss loves and you have those little arrows that the CEO said had to be in the company template. And notice that I have it on both sides, except that notice that there's a little bit, this side is a little bit off, even though it's the exact same content going all the way across the slide. So if this is really your company template, you should not have this. And this is your first visual clue, this like spacing like this, that someone does not know how to properly fill in your company template. So someone over here didn't know what they were doing. Someone over here did not know what they were doing. But an even better way to double check this, if I just come back to the normal view, if here in the normal view, so here's the same exact content. If you come up, you don't have to have anything selected. You come to the home tab, you come and click reset, watch what happens. I'll click reset, boom. I'll go back to presentation mode here. Notice that all of the content formatting on this side didn't change at all. This again is someone who knew what they were doing. Over here, this is a disaster, all right? Someone did not know what they're doing, and this is a waste of time for two reasons. Number one, what someone's done is they've taken the first level of text, and because nobody ever trained them up, and I'll show you how to fix this in a second, they basically manually set the bullet spacing for this, they manually set the bullet spacing for that, they manually uh, made the italicized letters over here, they had to reset, change the font size to size 24, all right? Lots of manual stuff. So that's the first waste of time, lots of manual, adjustments that you shouldn't need to make because this is a company template. The second place is going to waste your time is if this is what you have to deal with and you are the keeper of the deck, guess who has to now go manually change all of the formatting back to the existing content or the content formatting that your company set. So this is where this is a second waste of time. So you're wasting time formatting this in the first place. And then on the back end of your deck, you're wasting time bringing it back over. This is what I call content placeholder abuse, and it's actually a pretty easy fix. And I'm just gonna assume right now that your slide master is set up correctly, this is your company template, all right? That's another place where content placeholder abuse can happen. And if it is set up correctly, fixing this issue in the normal view is super easy. And there's actually two different ways that you can do this, and I'm gonna show you both of them. So back here in PowerPoint, I'll do this again. Notice that these bullets are now spaced even differently than the one before. So I'm gonna double check this. I come to the home tab, I click reset, and I get that list level issue. So this is a list level problem. And the first way to solve this, is you simply select the text that you wanna move. You come up to the home tab. You wanna navigate over here to the list level command. Watch what happens. I click it once. I immediately get the italicized um, subtitle text size 24 instead of the size 28. What someone did previously is they put an italicized there, they clicked B for bold to take away the bold, and then they came up and changed the font size to 24. So that's what someone did when in reality, watch what happens if I reset, notice that that font formatting does not hold where when I use the list levels it does. To get to the second list level, all you have to do is click the command twice. Once, there's list level two, there's list level three that someone has already set up on my slide now. So one, two, three, there's the arrow. This now, if I click reset, is not gonna get messed up. So that's one way to do this using, again, the home tab and the list level commands forward and backwards. The second way to do this is with a shortcut. So your list level shortcuts, first off, are not the tab and the shift tab key. If you use these with your templates, you will not get the correct proper list level forming. This is a big mistake. These do not work, all right? Shift and shift tab do not work. What you wanna use instead are the alt shift left arrow key to demote a list and the alt shift right arrow key to promote a list. If you're using lots of PowerPoint templates in your workday, I recommend putting these at the top of your list because these will save you hours, both on the front side of your deck, all right, and on the back side of your deck. And let me just show you what I mean. So here in PowerPoint, let's say that we're auditing this slide. We don't know if this is the correct format or not, so we're gonna test it out. We'll just come to the home tab, we'll click reset, and boom, someone didn't know how to properly fill this out. So using your keyboard shortcuts, Alt, Shift, Right arrow, will promote the list level. I'll select the next one, Alt, Shift, Right arrow once, twice, three times we'll go to the arrow. If I hit the left arrow key, you see it comes back down. So this is a super fast keyboard shortcut. You will have to come through and do this to all of your slides manually if someone has messed you up. Notice here though, if I just kind of mess things around, there's my template title, whatever. I come and click reset. Everything snaps back to position and all the correct company formatting stays on the slide. 
So now you know how to go double check to see if your team got this right. And all you're looking for as you hit that reset command like I showed you to see is, does your text default back to the level one list level or does it stay as it's supposed to be as it's set up on your slide master with the correct company format? Go ahead, give it a shot. Let me know what happens down in the comment section below. Or if you just like this video and learn something new, give me a thumbs up here on YouTube. That's how I know what kind of material I should be making for you. If you're just looking for PowerPoint resources to help get you to happy hour, I will again leave links for you down below in the description box. This is Taylor from Nuts of Bold Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.